Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get more calls using Google Business Profile. I'm going to show you three simple tweaks that you can do to improve your call volume. Watch this. All right, guys, I hope everybody's doing great. So I just want to show you some of the past couple of jobs we've done. So this is Home Insurance Agency, and this is where they're ranking in Staten Island, New York, right here, right up. I shouldn't move that up on the top. And this is uh, Las Vegas Artificial Grass, Synthetic Lawns, rather, right? And let's see, I, I already have this loaded right here, Synthetic Lawns of Las Vegas. They're up on the top. And then this is Davin Electric. And this is where they're ranked. So, you know, we're getting our clients ranked and they're getting phone calls. And in this video, I want to show you exactly how we do it so you could do it uh, for yourself. So this type of stuff sometimes could be overwhelming for some people or you don't have enough time. If you'd like to speak with me, uh, please click the talk with me button and we could set up a quick consultation to see if we're a good fit for you. Thank you. All right, guys, so let's jump right into it. So in order to rank in Google Business Profile, you need to have an optimized website. You need to make sure that your Google Business Profile is at full strength and you need reviews. So I'm going to show you three things that you could do that will improve your rankings within 24 hours. All right, guys, so let's take a look at this website, which is um, Las Vegas Synthetic Lawn. So the first thing you want to do is you want to have the city name in the title and you want the GMB category, your number one GMB category. In this case, it's Synthetic Lawns. You want that to be in the title. So those two words you want in the title. The second place you want them, if possible, is you want to get it in the URL. So you'll see it says Las Vegas Synthetic Lawns. That happens to be their name. That really gave them a head start. Now, if they were ABC Lawns, what I would do is I would do abclawns.com slash Las Vegas Synthetic Lawns. I would make a page just for that, right? So if they were ABC Lawns, I would make it uh, uh, abclawns.com then slash um, uh, Las Vegas Synthetic Lawns, right? Okay, the next place you want it, the third place you want it is you want it in the H tags. You want the keyword, uh, the city, I'm sorry, the city, Las Vegas, and you want the GMB category, which is synthetic, synthetic lawns. The fourth place you want it is in the first paragraph and you want to bold those keywords just like we did right here. See where it says synthetic lawns of Las Vegas. So if you could just do that on all your keywords, do your title, make, if possible, put it in your URL, change the name of your URL, put it in your H tag, which is right here. And then the last place you want it is in the first paragraph in bold, you want the GMB category and the city that you're trying to rank. The number one ranking factor is having the correct GMB category. You'll see it right here, right? I can't tell you how many uh, consultations I have with people and they have the wrong GMB category. Only the people up top Will have the correct GMB category. So there's a tool I use, it's called GMB Everywhere, that gives me the secondary and third and fourth categories that, um, that people use to rank on Google Maps. So I suggest, I'll put it in the description below, but I suggest you get it. I think they give you five free tries per day, and you could, ch you could spy on your competitors and see what categories they're using but even without using gmb everywhere you could see at least the number one category which is um, over here is electrician so how you get to that is you just uh, go to your uh, gmb profile your google business profile and just click right here where it says edit profile 
And in your business category, the number one, two, and three, these are, these are my uh, uh, GMB categories, but this is where you could make changes, all right? Be careful making too many changes uh, because they have been suspending GMBs uh, the month of April 2025 as I'm making this video. They're suspending a lot of GMBs. So uh, if you made a change this month, I would leave it alone for a little bit. And um, But you want to make sure you have the right category. So we got your website right we got your website working great we have your google business profile we have the right categories now the third part this is what ties it all together which are your reviews now you can't rank you can't run a, an effective campaign without knowing where you're currently ranking a program like localdominator.co i'll put the i'll put the link in the description below uh we'll show you this is called a grid map and anywhere in green is where you're ranking. So for example, if I'm standing in the center town right here and I looked for electrician or synthetic lawns, I would rank. However, as you start to come out a little bit, I'll be in sixth place. You see the six right here? And if you come all the way out here, I'll be, I'd be in 13th place for that keyword. Okay, so how do we rank in this area? How do we get in this area? Very simple, well, not simple, e easy to explain, hard to do. But this is what you do. I'm not holding any punches. This is exactly what you do. You have to get people in the red area to be actually standing there giving you reviews. So for example, if you put it, if you do an electrical job in this area right here, you have to get a review from that client saying that um, uh, John from ABC Electric came, he was prompt on time, he was uh, affordable, and he did my residential, um, uh, he's a great residential electrician, he put in uh, lights and light fixtures and a ceiling fan, right? You want to include the keywords that you want to try to rank in. Now, the person has to be in this area. So if you don't have, the, if you don't have a program like this, right, a, a, a grid software program, you don't know where you're ranking, you don't know how far you're ranking, and you don't know where you need reviews from. Okay? So we want to get reviews all in these areas where we're not ranking. And the only way to do that is to have SEO grid software. All right. I recommend localdominator.co. I've also in the past recommend another good one is localfalcon.com. I'll put it in the description below. Right. You could use that one. I've just been using this one lately and it's been working. Uh, I really like the way that this one works. But you could use whatever suits your pocket, your pocketbook needs. Right. Guys, I hope this video helped you. Please do those three things. Work on your website. Make sure you have the right GMB categories. And you have to stack up on reviews. You have to. Because you know what? Right now, everybody has like between 50 and 200 reviews. That's where like, I don't know, maybe 60%, 70% of the people. In the next two or three years, it's going to be two to 3,000 reviews. And if you have 50 reviews, you're just never going to catch up. You also want to try to get reviews from Trustpilot and Yelp. And I know a lot of people don't like uh, using Yelp because they only show your bad reviews. They don't show your good reviews. But try to get as many Yelp reviews as possible. That helps as well. Right? So Trustpilot, I'll put the links in below for, for Trustpilot and for Yelp. Guys, if there's something that I could do, please reach out to me. Go to my website you see right here on the screen and just click the talk to me button. We'll set up a short consultation and I'll see, we'll see if we're a good fit for one another. Please be good to your wife, be good to your kids, uh, clean up around the house, take out the dog, right? Throw out the garbage, make the bed, do all those things, help out around the house. Be good to your family. Kiss your family. Tell your family you love them. 
and we'll see you tomorrow.